Hi everyone, it's me, Darlene. I am jumping in with an intro before the intro that you're about to see to explain that we walked around a car junkyard today and I recorded and I just started editing and there's parts where the wind is blowing so hard that you can't even hear me talking because of the, the crackling wind sound. So I'm not going to stop and explain things. It's just that we're walking around. We were looking for a headlight uh, assembly for Joe's van. And uh, I, you know, I've just never seen a place like this. And we had to go to the very end, far corner. And we did a lot of walking, but it was fun. And so I'm just going to show you, and it's just going to be from, you know, jumping around because I'm going to have to cut the wind out. And, you know, just watch, I guess. You know, I don't know what's coming up because I haven't edited yet. And I didn't say goodbye at the end, so I'll just say bye now and thank you for watching. And it'll just drift off when I get to the last clip. Hi, everyone. It's me, Darlene, and Joe. I don't know where he is. Where are you? <laughs> How come I can't see you? You're behind me. I don't know. He's here somewhere. Right behind me. We're getting close. We're in the 600s. That's one right there? No, no headlamps? Would they let you know if they don't have any? Does it say it on the printout what yeah. years will work? No, I don't, I don't know. Let me see. Oh, you are you are not looking like you're going to get one. Let me see the out. Okay, hang on. Oh my god, I can see you a little bit. Um, I don't know. It says on the other side. Let me go look for you. Let's see what row we're on. This one. I don't see it on these cars. Uh, let's see. The red car ahead of us is 632. That red car, yeah. The 632. Did I say car? The red car. I'm so glad it's a cool day. I didn't know stuff like this existed. There's miles of cars. Uh, 632. Look at how scary. Look at how scary this is. Oh my god. I see C. Come back this way. I don't see 632. 632 is this right here. I can't see it on the list. Oh, on the list. I see 38, 36, 34, 31, 30, 6.30, Alright, let's find 30. Alright, we're finding 30. I don't know if I was recording earlier. Okay, we found row 630. There's supposedly something here. It's blue, is it that? Could be. Come on. Have a, have a headlamp. Whatever we're calling it, assembly. Nope. Nothing here. I wonder if they'd pull all of them and just sell those separately. Oh. Glory walking around. 
around here. So far, we're shit out of luck. Um, I think he's got like one more that we have to find. But I don't think we're gonna get what he wants today. Um, and yes, we have Rocket. He's in the van, and it's a very cool day, so he's fine. Okay, we're gonna look for another a blue one. Joe just asked me if I had an ink pen. Does anyone else call it an ink pen? I think this was our last option. Oh, a silver one somewhere. Is it this one right here? Yeah. No, no. This is so interesting to me. Look, there's a receipt here. Oh, that's just the paper that you get a printout here. So it's Mid-South, you pull it, auto. <laughs> we are going to 634. I'm having more fun looking inside the vehicles than looking for the head headlight assemblies. I think we are looking for our last chance here. 42, 43. 643. I thought he said it was silver, but I see a red Dodge that looks like his, and it's got a headlamp um, assembly. It's got that assembly, but it's broken. But I'm not even sure. Yeah, that looks exactly like his. But, um, that's not going to work. Okay. He said silver. And this is silver and it's got one. But, I don't know if it's in good enough shape or not. At least it's not broken. So many things what are broken. But this one, look. I don't know if this is a Dodge. I haven't seen it yet. But that looks like your headlight. I just don't, I don't know cars just by looking at them. Oh. Mm. oh, town and country. And Joe said that the printout says that that's compatible. The one on this, Joe, silver. This is the town and country. And look, it's got the assembly. Yeah. You all right? Yeah, what year does it say it is? It is saying it's a 2003 Chrysler, town and country. <laughs> I almost wish he didn't find one because it's almost $50 for it and then he thinks we're going to put that in and he, we can't do it here, they don't allow you to and it's about a 45 minute drive, and so if it doesn't work, I don't even know if they take returns. I think Joe said you can pay a dollar per day warranty. So I don't know, I don't know anything about any of this. I would just be going to a, a mechanic and, and paying full price to get that shit done. He wants it. <laughs> okay, he wants me to record this. Because, ooh, I feel like I need eyeglasses, goggles. I don't know. What do you call them? Protective glasses. Yeah. Do you want me to hold those things? Put them in my pocket. All right. Is that bird shit right there? Yeah. <laughs> All of it come off. What? All of that will come off. Pocket. Please don't drop it on the ground because I will not find it. Neither one of us feels like bending. <laughs> wow. But there's no way we can... Well, I mean, if it's just a matter of the light bulb doesn't work, that's an easy fix, right? Yep. It's just the assembly we need. Assembly. 
and I learned about that. Oh, we don't even get the light bulbs? <laughs> I put mine. Okay. Can you take the light bulbs in case yours yeah, don't put work? Them in my pocket. Oh. In your purse, with you. Oh, I mean, are we allowed to take the light bulbs? Yeah. Oh, good God. All right, I'm trying to record this just so we know how to put it back together. I'm gonna need a, to take a rest after this. My God, we've walked a mile on gravel, rocks, without. I need a flathead. You bring one. I brought my screwdriver. Okay, let me have a flathead in it. You can get a flathead. Because right you know there. he has everything in the world except he doesn't have a thing to hold the flathead bit. You got right out of here, flathead. Okay, hang on. I asked him why he needed mine because he said this flat head is too big. I need my little flat head. <laughs> uh. Okay. What's that? The fuse? I don't know. I know it's, it's part of the headlight. I'm just guessing here. Take everything you can. <laughs> you don't have no bulbs in there. Like take. Don't forget that part. I'm not. Oh God. Maybe you shouldn't have done that. Yeah, I should. That little tiny bulb is the headlight? Yeah, fifty-eight dollars one. Fuck. Let's get a bunch of headlights out and sell them on eBay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm surprised nobody told me to stop recording. I'm about to give it a shit. Uh, do you still need me to uh, document what you're doing? I see it. We got it. How it is. I have to, I'm in charge of the headlight? Oh my god. Take that Christmas bulb. <laughs> put it in your purse. Yes, put it in my purse. I I, I want I want my screwdriver. Yeah, I'm trying to get it. You can have your bit back. That's what I'm doing. Uh, you're not gonna be in charge of my screwdriver. See, that's that's not the home for my screwdriver. <laughs> Okay, Joe just said something that I had to cut out. <laughs> now he said something else that I had to cut out. Oh my God, stop talking, Joe. <laughs> You're giving me too much editing. <laughs> what the hell is going on there? Look, why are they all sticking up? Hey, baby, you gotta put them down and put the other... Oh, there you go. We got it. Okay, do you want me to hold the small stuff and you hold the head headlamp? Yeah. yeah, let me hold this. Oh. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Oh my god. I'm never gonna see my screwdriver again. Got it. My hair is doing funny things. Oh. <laughs> We're back in the van. Ah, is right. That was uh, quite a little walk, and walking on rocks like that, you know, you have to be a little bit more steady. And I enjoyed this. I don't know. I really liked. I really liked doing this. I'm gonna encourage him to go find car parts <laughs> before I ever spend money again on having uh, something yeah. fixed. And anyway, so I forgot to show you guys. That we had to have our hand stamp to come here. Can you see that? Yeah says up. I was like, it was... That's in case we can come, come and go all day without paying. All fucking day we can come and go. We can go home, say two hours we want to come back find something else. We can come back. No, no cost. <laughs> How lucky we are. Hang on, I gotta put my seatbelt on. <laughs> Kilowatt Lake is over there. <laughs> yeah, you'll see it the second it glows at night. It, it glows? Is yeah. that uh, why they call it killing? You can see fish swimming at nighttime and they're glowing. 
Well, that's uh, some fish I probably would not want no, to nobody eat. eat. <laughs> nobody eats. Anyway, Joe also informed me that if I came tomorrow, it would be a different stamp. So just in case I so had it in my head, <laughs> yes, dear, uh, yeah, just in case I had it in my head just that I was going to try to sneak in here tomorrow. Leaks off into He's it. very into the lake right now. <laughs> what did you say about a bathroom? I, I wasn't going to stop. I, I had to find you one to stop. Oh, okay. It was clean. Right. You to go. Yeah, it's Kilowatt Lake. It's a big lake. Big lake. Probably... 40 acres, wait. I don't know even what an acre is. I don't know what an acre looks like. 100 by 100. 100 by 100. Okay, I've got perfect image now. <laughs> what is it? Is it 100 feet for between telephone poles? I don't no. know. 100 yards? Uh, no, it's 40 or 50. No, it was something to do with 100. I don't know. Anyway, um, when we were walking back and getting closer to the building, I asked if there was a bathroom, and he shows me a porta pot and I was like, um, you can stop somewhere <laughs> before we go home. And uh, I'm glad that I didn't use that because there was a very clean bathroom inside the building, so that was good. And yeah, I just enjoyed this, it was fun. And uh, do you guys wanna see Rocket? Rocket, come here for a second. Come on, baby. Here he is, Rocket. How come we, I don't know how to do this. There's my baby dog. Hi, puppy. I don't blow when we get going. Did somebody beep that. at you because you didn't take off immediately at the... Oh, I get so pissed if somebody beeps and it's taking me like a split second to start moving. That I know, but what I do is um, I start moving, I get through the light, and then I go like five miles per hour. <laughs> I'm so mad that they beep. It's like you can't wait. I mean, I understand beeping if somebody's looking at their phone and you, you know, they're not lifting their head up. But you know, when you're just there paying attention and the light is green and it's beep, it's like, what the fuck, huh, Rocket? Nobody's supposed to do that kind of stuff, right? Mm. I always thought you slowed down. For My little doggy friend that we got to know each other just like this in this van when we used to go from Arkansas, well, from Hernando to Arkansas to Jacksonville, Arkansas. Remember the nice long rides we used to take and we got to know each other that way and I made you famous. Wait, wait, what, wait, can you please look? There we go. There's my baby. Yeah, I know. He wants to go on daddy. Because his daddy is daddy's dog, and we know it. And I think he gets sad for daddy when I say that you're my baby. Because you're not. <laughs> we share you. No, honey, don't. Oh, all right. He'll lay down. Okay, he'll lay down. Okay, pay attention now. We're getting off. We're getting onto the highway. I'm a very, very nervous passenger, and Joe is too. We hate when the other plug drives. The GPS in, okay, I gotta plug the GPS in. Hang on. All right, now I'm petrified that I wasn't recording a little bit ago because my camera will let me record for something like three or five minutes before it beeps to let me know that I never pushed the record button. Uh, so I'm hoping I recorded and. I'm always second guessing myself. And oh, and when we were walking back from having that headlamp assembly, um, Joe said, did we get it from the passenger side? And I was like, yes. And he was so busy just taking it apart that he just wasn't sure. And it got me to the point where I wasn't sure because I'm always not sure. <laughs> I almost was going to go back, but I was like, no, I clearly remember it being the passenger side. So uh, we're good with that. I just hope that that all works. I mean, that's just going to be fun now putting it back in. But it's like Joe said, that whole thing, anything that doesn't work on the inside can be replaced. We're just buying that big shell where the headlights live. <laughs> I don't know what else. I'm a little bit hungry, but I ate quite a bit. Wow! 
that guy's going fast. I have no clue if I just showed you that guy, but that was loud and scary.